Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what I'm going to do is a review for you of a simple, cheap, inexpensive charge controller. This is a Thunderbolt solar regulator. It comes from Harbor Freight. And it is super easy to use. And I have several of them. This example right here, it's quite old. I use these frequently. They are inexpensive. This one is around $19, and you can get them even cheaper if you use some of the coupons that come out of Harbor Freight. They will charge any type of battery that you have. The, if it's wet lead acid, like this one that I'm going to demonstrate on, if it's an AGM, you can even do lithium with these. I'm going to show you how to set this up with this right here, wet lead acid battery. These are deep cycle and this is the main type that most people have which is why I use it for demonstrations a lot but most people have in their battery bank so I'm going to show how to use it okay now the solar panels I'm going to be using I got a solar panel set up there they're also from Harbor Freight Harbor Freight has inexpensive equipment that works really well now I know I know people like to say Harbor Freight equipment is just for a hobby. But I've seen this so-called hobby equipment keep a light on in the house and run a fan in the heat, even while the grid goes down. Having this equipment will charge cell phones and when there's when there's no available electricity. I know of one instance where, a, where this would-be hobby equipment has been used to keep medicine in a small refrigerator in a rural situation where the local electricity supply was not dependable. In fact, many utilities companies has begun notifying customers, as you've probably heard already, about rolling blackouts and brownout. So these people can call this hobby equipment all they want. But I'm telling you, these, this equipment works, and it works when many others will not. And it's a lot less expensive than a lot of other places. So let me show you how simple this solar regulator, which is the same thing as a charge controller, a regulator and a controller is the same thing. It regulates or controls the voltage from your solar panels, right out there, to the battery. Now, this is a wet lead acid. Always make sure it has the right amount of water in it. You want to watch that. And these have to stay outside. AGM and lithiums you can bring in a house, but wet lead acid batteries have to stay outside. Because when charging, they produce gases and gases can harm people and they could explode so outside with these okay so let me show you how really simple this is and I'll even give you a couple of facts first of all this is up to a hundred watts do not use more do not put in more than a hundred watts worth of power through this so a hundred watt solar panel or less and you'll be great it will charge up to 14 volts. Now I know some folks are going to say their manual say a little bit different if you want a top charge. Lithium they'll say 14.6 and such but when you don't have a lot of money and you just want to make a system work it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to work and this will. I've charged up all types of batteries on this and my experience says they work. All right so let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is hook up the battery. These Harbor Freight has these little pins right here that go in and connect to each other. Just like that. Okay, you can see it's now hooked up. All plugged in nice and neat. And now we're going to take it and we're going to connect it to the battery. All right, so when we're connect, always connect to the battery first. We want to make sure we say that. And... Most manuals say when you're doing it, do the red, which is the positive first. See a little positive sign on the battery. Take these little clips. These little clips came with the charge controller. And you put it on there. Right? Let's do that for you. Okay. Now, we're going to take the negative and put it on as well. Just simple like that. Now, I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to show you the charge controller. See, take a look at that. We're going to put it on. 
and you saw the red flicker. Red flicker means that it's working. Okay? So, they are now on. Positive to positive, negative to negative, and it is now connected to the battery. Now that it's connected to the battery, we're going to hook it up to, to the uh, solar panels. Battery. Hopefully you can see that. Solar. This is this was on here originally, but I had to write it because this is so worn. I put little notes on the back. Okay, so worn because I use them a lot. This goes to the battery. This goes to the solar panels, which I showed you, I believe, right out there. And this is a load if you want to run a wire or a light or something to it. I don't use these loads, so I just tape it up where it's nice and safe. And next, we're going to the solar panel. Okay, it's connected the same way that we connected to the battery. But this is connected to the solar panels. And as you can see, yellow. It is now charging. Now, unlike some charge controllers that are more expensive, this here does not have any type of LED. So you can't see the state of charge. But like I said, this is pretty inexpensive, and you don't really need that, because when it gets all the way charged, the green light will come on. Sometimes they come on just solid, sometimes they flash. But either way, it will tell you that the, it is charged up. Okay, that is how to use this Thunderbolt solar charge regulator or charge controller. And they're inexpensive. They really, really work, and I recommend these. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you uh, want me to do a video on something else, please let me know. Remember, I'm not a specific solar expert. I've been doing this for years, and I know how small systems work well for me. And that's what I show you. Systems that I know work because I've done it. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like. And put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make. Things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.